you have two months from the dropping of this video right here. This means you have two months to make your stuff, find your texture, fire it all the way to whatever cone you're trying to fire it to. Yes, low fire is fine, mid fire is fine, high fire is fine, but you have to post it on social media, you have to tag me, and you have to use the proper hashtags. Hello, you dirty potters. How are you today? This is a new angle for us. Do you, do you like this angle? I usually record over there, or I record over there so you see my kiln in the background, but I think this is a good medium in between the two, except for the light of God shining in my face right here. Talk about working for exposure. <laughs> I'm a dad. Welcome to the Dirty Potter Challenge. For those of you who have been with the channel for quite some time, you probably remember I used to do these videos long time ago, like two or three years ago, called the Dirty Potter Challenge, where I would challenge my community to make something, you would mark it down by tagging me on either Instagram or YouTube or, or Facebook or Twitter, whatever, wherever social media you like, except for the ones that I don't have. So like, don't, don't go to Vine or whatever that is now. I collect all the photos. We do a very long video review. Sometimes those videos go about an hour long, but you get exposure for your work. I get to see your work. Those of you who wanted me to critique your work for some odd reason, get that weird satisfaction met. There's a strange group of you out there who want me to critique your work and this kind of doubles as that as well. So this is like hitting four birds with one stone. It's community engagement. It's me critiquing your work. It's cross-pollination of followers and it's technically a shout out for you because I do say your name on YouTube and on screen. Uh, but you gotta work for it, baby. Here's how you enter the contest. I will give you a set amount of time to participate in this contest. In that time, you can either make a video, post a picture, but you must tag me and hashtag a certain hashtag in order to get entered into this. This allows me to look it up and view your work very easily, as well as copy paste it and whatnot, and put it on camera. Side point, keep in mind that by entering this contest, I am gonna like screenshot your work and then share it online. So like, there's your consent form. And I usually throw in a little catch to the challenge just to make it a little bit more difficult. Let, let's face it, like after a while, you've seen the same thing in the ceramic art world over and over and over and over again, especially for like, sellable, craftable mugs. So I like to throw a little twist in there just to challenge you guys. I'm also gonna be reiterating these rules down in the comments and the description below. This will tell you what hashtag you're supposed to use. This will also tell you how much time you have and all the tags that you need to be using in order to be qualified for this challenge, as well as the prize. Ooh, which by the way, hold on. I have to go get your prize, you young little dirty potter. The winner of the Dirty Potter Challenge, which will be decided by me is a brand new clay I am known for giving these out because I am a firm believer in clay prints. You see me wear one in almost all of my videos. They're magical. I love them so much. They're just the right amount of denim material for me to work and feel comfortable. Plus, these ones cover your legs. Okay, now that we got all that out of the way. That was supposed to look cool, but I actually hit and broke something. What I want you to make for the Dirty Potter Challenge number three is a set of ramen bowls. There's two parameters to this. Number one, they have to be nesting in some way. They don't have to be a perfect shape for nesting, but one has to be smaller than the other, just slightly so that they can stack in the cupboards oh so nicely. And the second condition is that you must put texture on these bowls. The real challenge is that you're not allowed to use any texture tools. I want you going outside, I want you putting stuff on a slab, attaching them to bowls, I want you to take your bowls outside, I want you to find rocks, I want you to find gems, I want you to find tree bark. Push your clay against the tree bark, it'll make great texture, I'm telling you. I want you to find regular bark, I want you to go to a playground, unless you're one of those people. Don't go within a certain feet of the playground. I want you to use the bottom of your shoes because they have fantastic texture. I want you to use your car tires because they have great texture. The things I don't want you to use are a base texture tool, something that you just roll on a clay slab or on your work and it automatically makes a texture. And this is an example. I want none of this. I want none of this. I want none of these. I don't want any of that. If you get a tool that's specifically made for ceramic work, and I'm talking about the kitchen tool people out there, I see you. If you have a pet, you can use their claws or paws for all I care. I just don't want you using a tool that already makes texture. There's too many of you out there just using texture tools and all your work looks exactly the same. I want interesting, I want dynamic, I want, I don't even care about the glaze combo. I don't even care if you make raw work. I just want a set of bowls with some good, interesting, never seen before texture. That is your challenge. 
you have two months from the dropping of this video right here. This means you have two months to make your stuff, find your texture, fire it all the way to whatever cone you're trying to fire it to. Yes, low fire is fine, mid fire is fine, high fire is fine, but you have to post it on social media, you have to tag me, and you have to use the proper hashtags. Good luck on your challenge, Dirty Potters. I'll see you in two months. I'm gonna save this as an end screen to those of you who watched all the way until after the credits because I like to put special stuff there, but if you're thinking about entering the Dirty Potter Challenge, you should probably do it soon because if I if this thing gets popular because I released it like three years ago and it, it was semi-popular and I have way more subscribers now, I'm gonna have to edit and post and put the names of on screen like over 50 people one day and that video is gonna go two hours and sooner or later, I'm gonna have to start cutting people out. I'm just gonna be like, ah, hey, I couldn't put your work on the screen. So if you want your work visible, <laughs> now's the time. <laughs>